All right, let's get started. I'm about to make a keto friendly treat and brand new recipe, not fully developed yet, but we're gonna go on the fly. So to start, we're gonna have one and a half tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of pecans to that. Then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sweetener. Over here I have three tablespoons of almond flour. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add to that half a tablespoon of baking powder. <clears throat> And then just a little pinch of salt. And then a generous amount of cinnamon powder. Stir these dry ingredients together real quick just to get them nice and even. One tablespoon of olive oil to the mix. Unsweetened peanut butter, it's just all peanuts. It's really oily so the label's falling off, but 100% nuts. And we're gonna go with a nice heaping teaspoon of that. Just to give our cupcakes a little bit of creaminess. Of one egg white. And then also for this one, we are going to add just a little bit of sweetener, maybe a teaspoon to this mix. And we will then mix this up. Great. Now we're going to add the pecan mixture. I started with three tablespoons of almond flour, but I think I'm going to add just a pinch more just to get this up to the consistency I'm looking for. Maybe another half, half tablespoon or so. And that's starting to look thicker already. Perfect. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of vanilla bean. All right, so there it is. This is roughly kind of the battery texture I'm looking for. And I'm going to transfer this into a pre-greased Pyrex bowl, the same size, and put it in the oven for 350, and I'll let you know the baking time. I tasted a little bit of the batter and it was pretty delicious. I thought, you know what a cake needs? Some frosting. So we're going to go ahead and make a cream cheese frosting to go on our cake once it's cooled. All right, for the frosting, we start with about an ounce of cream cheese. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sweetener. Sorry. Then I'm going to add just a little squirt of some sugar-free caramel. Whoa, a little heavy. Last but not least, a tiny dash of vanilla. I guess that wasn't last because we do, we might add also just a dab of heavy cream. There we go. Just to help us soften up our cream cheese. And now just mix that for until it's nice and smooth. Okay. Wow, look at that consistency. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. It does have a really cakey texture. It... Wow. 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 It's like a cinnamon roll, dude. Wow. Wow. Wow, I did myself. That. I know. I know. Oh my god. I'm gonna tap out there. Cool, I'll put that in the fridge for you. <laughs> I'm sure it'll make it. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Holy. Wow. 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 Holy. Wow. Wow. Holy.